All right, everybody, hello. We are back here on the Potomac River. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I feel like we're always doing something different. We do have our underwater camera here today. I'm gonna to be giving it a shot. I think the water clarity will be just right um, to get some good footage with this thing. This is the Go Fish Cam. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, I've seen a bunch of underwater footage with this. I've always wanted to get one. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of these catfish. We're only gonna be using Jello Chicken today. We're gonna to see how they react underwater uh, to the Jello Chicken bait. I'm really excited. Hope the bite is on. Uh, but yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get in the water, get this experiment started. All right, so what I'm doing here is putting my weight directly onto my leader. Catfish really don't care about weights and stuff like that. At least I haven't seen anything to show that they care about that. So this is just in case the weight gets hung up, it's not above the Go Fish Cam and we don't lose our Go Fish Cam because we don't want to do that. Go Fish Cam, Jello garlic chicken on a smaller circle hook. We're going for anything today. Let's see how they react to Jello garlic chicken underwater, guys. Let's do it. I'm just gonna send it like I usually would. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh man, that cast wasn't too far. Should be far enough for a fish though. Okay, we are in there, camera's recording. Let's see how long it takes here, everybody. All right, so there's a few different things I noticed in these clips. It's definitely a lot more active down there than I think it is. There's a lot of bait fish around. Some of them are white perch. Some of them look like minnows as well. I can't really make it out, but this bait really seems to attract really anything that's in the area. If you look at the top, you'll see that catfish just cruise by for one second there. That was so fast. It just came by, scooped it up, and uh, turned to the side to swim away. We actually pass a carp on the way in here. <laughs> got our first bite though snelling got... these types of hooks the hook brand that i had was cutting the line um so i had to end up tying my hooks regular just with a uh improved clinch knot at the top once again drag is a little bit looser this time i'm uh, used to fishing a lot heavier leader a lot heavier line so i think that's what happened there all right let's do it again guys okay sending her back wasn't really out too far Right there. My bait actually got hung up on the, the camera. That's why it's so close here. This was the most interesting cast uh, by far. As you can see, there's huge carp swimming by. We got like the whole community of panfish hanging out next to the bait. Yeah, it's just a really, really active drop right here.
Definitely did not like something to do with that rig. Meanwhile, on the top of the water, here I am just chilling. I have no idea what's going on down there. I also did notice each time a catfish did approach the bait, um, the littler bait fish seemed to scatter. See this one come in from the left here. Again, though, with this weight, the pyramid weight was hanging over the bait, so I think every time they bit the bait, they felt it. Felt the weight, they didn't like it. Actually ended up throwing a different rod in, as you can see right here, without the go fish cam, and of course that's the one I end up hooking up on. We got one. Not on the go fish cam rod, but we got one. He ain't very big, but skunk buster. Wish we had the camera on this rod. Let's kick it a little more now. It's kind of what I figured we were gonna catch in this spot. First fish, not on the go fish cam, but hey, skunk buster. Let's get our rod in that spot. This weight is here, but they're not really gonna feel that while they're eating the bait. I'm thinking that's gonna do it. This other rod that gets in the water, it keeps getting bit instantaneously, so there's something going on down there with the camera that uh, the fish do not like. Let's see if we just fixed our problem here. Let's sling it a little further. There we go. That might be it right there. This drop, you can really see how fast you can lose your bait. This was within two minutes. Boom, my bait's completely gone. I have no idea. Didn't see that bite on top of the water. Um, but as you can see here, it didn't mean the fish were out of the area. There were still catfish lurking around. Um, it seemed like they could smell remnants of the bait in the area, but they just couldn't quite find it. Once again, here I am getting bit on the rod that does not have the camera. Uh, I was just trying to test to see if the fish were camera shy, but uh, I had no idea it didn't have bait on my hook. Got him. <laughs> Uncle Lou's rods, baby. Uncle Lou's rods on the Jello chicken. They're camera shy. Gotta be. I'm getting bit on every other rod that is uh not have the camera. One that has a camera, they just don't seem to bite. Thank you, guy. Yep, they ain't gonna go crazy. Good fight on the lighter rod. There he is, guys. Let's let him go. Definitely fishing here though. Don't seem to like the camera rod. This guy again. Let's do this again. Just want to land one on the camera, man. What? Juicy spot. This catfish just kind of comes in and swipes at it, definitely sees something he doesn't like, and uh, swims away. This guy just kind of leisurely comes up and grabs it.
Stay on, baby. Stay on. Here he comes. Come here, baby. Come here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> First fish landed on the go fish cam. Hope we got a good footage of the bite. Man, that's awesome. Let's let him go, guys. Hopefully you guys got some good footage out of that. Plop them back in there. Make sure we didn't run out of battery while we were down there. Man, guys, finally. Well, hopefully they're used to the camera now. I doubt it, because they've seen their friend get pulled out of the water with it, but hey, you never know. <laughs> We sent that one. This drop we get visited by a little goby. <laughs> My God, this was a good take down here. I wonder if they're like fighting over it down there. All right, let's go. Fish number two. Oh. Wow, that bite was insane, guys. Wind's picking up a little bit. Might have to put the mic on. Hey, man. They're getting used to the camera. I'm getting used to it. All right, guys. Well, it looks like the camera died. <laughs> the goat fish camera died. We were using it for quite a bit. We've been out here for a few hours now. But uh, man, we were able to get two landed catches on the goat fish cam. I'm so, so excited to go home and review the footage. I hope it came out all right. But man, that was fun, guys. I can't wait to use it again. I'm still looking for other uh, spots that are not very snaggy to come use it at. I hope you guys got a better understanding of what Jello Chicken looks like underwater to the catfish. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and check out the website. It's in the description below. Check out the merch. If you guys want a freaking custom jersey from Young Speeds, give them any design you want. They will make it for you. Code TFM10 for 10% off on that. Yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you in the next freaking video.